Oh, I just want to make a quick video. Um, I had I was thinking about it in my mind, and I was like, I might as well talk about it. Um, so it's the Calvin way to talk about it. Um, and it's a good thing to talk, you know, at the same time. It's a good thing, even though I'm talking to myself here. Um, uh, in Tom's, there's nobody there. Apart from some, you know, some, you know what I'm saying? There's nobody here in the room. So if people walk past me when they take out a window. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I felt, I felt the need to say that but um, there you go um, but yeah I want to talk about us protecting our children now you know children's mind especially young children grown up um, say for you know primary school children their, you know, their brains they could be easily misled or you know led them the garden path as the word is usually used or you know, you know or push down the wrong direction let's put it that way too um, so, you know, we often see this in, in the Western world, especially in England, and it's happened a good bit in America too, of drag queens going in, um, men dressed as women, um, and telling stories to children. Um, and you know, I've seen a video once, I, told, I think it was in the UK, and parents sitting there laughing, listening to the drag queen, how to, how to talk. And I, I'm not going to explain how you're going to, how this inappropriate um, thing, but you know, basically the drag queen was explaining to this about, you know, a junior weapon, to say. Um, class and the parents sitting there laughing at and having a great time but this is the thing and um, they want to try and sexualize um young children because obviously when they grow up they're normalized into it and um, when you when you grow up and you're used to doing things you know you get used to it um, and you're being sexualized like that and it is straight away just saying that it's not right for any to be talked about at that age Um, it's you know, again a sixth class you can tell them to the bees and knees um, you know, what they need to know, just the small but what they need to know, but you don't need to go when they're just literally starting school and go in with drag queens and tell them a story about everything. Like I, I've seen awful, awful things, uh, videos of it, uh, drag queens going in and tell them how to cut off the balls and how, like I don't, I don't, I don't even want to explain anymore because it's, it's that, it's that disgusting. I wouldn't want to even sit and even at somebody at eighteen, I wouldn't want to be in a room with somebody describing that. <laughs> and these are these are basically babies nearly um in in it's school going into um you're going into say junior weapons or senior weapons um and the, 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 they are at that um you know you really you really just sit there and you're like to yourself what's the world coming to um and the parents again I say to the parents because again I know some parents are afraid to stand up like take for example sex education in this country schools. Um, you know, obviously when I was growing up, you just were told a bit in sixth class. That's why I'm going. You were told a bit in sixth and fifth class. You wouldn't, never told much about anything else. Um, in any of the other years, it wasn't talked about. Um, which was a good, which I think was good, and that's why I always say sixth class you can tell them the bees and knees and um, before they go to secondary school, obviously. Um, I think they're old enough to know a small bit. Um, but yeah, I have often heard of children being taught about it in um third class, fourth class. I've often heard of it being taught in, um, in, as I said, in junior work and towards I heard one stage in Ireland um, that was talked about um, by a teacher. And that teacher was uh, uh, suspended, thankfully. Um, but, you know, it's something that we, ha we have to keep our children as innocence because when they lose the witnesses, you know, they're not children anymore. Um, and, you know, with technology nowadays, you know, it's very easily... Um, especially young, younger and younger people using the using iPads, using phones, and everything. Um, like I couldn't believe it. You know, one person I know has a daughter, and she's four year old, and he's no he teacher though. Has got a phone and everything for. Um, and no, she watches YouTube children's app, whatever the YouTube children's app. Um, and that's harmless enough. You can't see any harmless material. But again, if she clicks off that, you know, God knows, or maybe God knows what she could find. You know, that's that's the simple that because. He just lives or really tall devices. Um, and I just said to him, you know, just to be careful. That's all I said to him, just to be careful. Again, I know it's the YouTube children's app. It's pretty safe. But again, if she went out of it or something came up, um, you know, um, you know, you know what I'm saying. I'm sure people agree. Um, again, you have to protect our children as much as possible. And again, that can't be allowed to happen. I don't believe now in Ireland, especially under normal foley. I don't take normal foley. Um, would care for that kind of stuff. Um, even though she's just an absolute, she just wants to piss everyone off. Um, quite literally piss everybody off. Um, but I don't think she'll go that far now. I don't think she's. I think she's very, very conservative and very. I think she is very con. She'd be very conservative from regards to, you know, that stuff in school. 
Um, in other words. But um, you never know. Number Foley always likes to prove me wrong. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to talk about that because it's something that was on my mind and I was thinking about it. And I was watching that videos over the last few months. And I was like to myself, how would a parent, especially one of them, um, the drag queen telling them how the hell the children had the truck at, say, Junior. You know, again, I don't know how the parents were laughing, sitting down. Hey, oh, sh him, oh, him, I don't know him, oh, oh. Um, it was a him. It wasn't a girl dressed up as a woman, yes. Um, I get confused now and again. Um, you know, I, I, don't, I don't need the sound, I don't mean the sound, um, out of touch, but you know, and I don't mean the sound like I'm offending people, and I, that's not my intention, it's just that we should not be allowed to do that for younger minors, you know, and that's the thing, if you want to be a drag queen, <laughs> I'm sure you don't need to go into schools and do that, um, you know, you can do that outside the general public, or, or well, not you know, in the, if you want to do it in the general public it's up to you but not going into the school environment do it is, I suppose that's what I'm trying to say I'm not saying it's well you, you, you're entitled to do what you want to do again it's a free country but again not in school environments I'm sure people do agree um, well so called free country but um, you know it's it's to a certain degree it's free um, but yeah take, take care everyone and be bye